Hello everyone, welcome to It's Tomorrow News. I am Hena Talati. Volcano Fuego erupts in Guatemala, authority shuts airports. The volcano named Fuego, Spanish for fire, rumbled into the activity overnight Saturday into Sunday with molten rock oozing down its slopes and ash bulging 2 kilometers into the sky. One of the most active volcanoes in the Central America has erupted again, spewing lava and ash and forcing at authorities in Guatemala City on Sunday to briefly close the country's largest airport and major highways. The volcano named Fuego, that is Spanish for fire, rumbled into activity overnight Saturday into Sunday with molten rock oozing down its slopes and ash blanching two kilometers into the sky. Winds carried the ash towards the Guatemala city as kilometers away. La Aurora International Airport, 6 kilometers south of the capital, was temporarily closed at the mid-morning. The General Directorate of the Civil Aeronautics said in a statement, citing presence of the ash near the runway. At least two incoming flights had been diverted, aviation sources said, before it reopened around the midday local time after winds changed directions and sent ash away from the facility. In addition, a road that connects the southern and central Guatemala was closed as a precaution, said a spokesman for the highway police. It reopened Sunday afternoon as the volcano's activity subsided. The volcano sits about 16 kilometers from the Antigua, the country's picturesque former capital and biggest tourist attractions. Fuego erupts every four to five years on average. In 2018, an eruption sent rivers of the lava pouring down its sides, devastating the village of San Miguel Lo Lotes, killing 215 people and leaving the similar number of missing. Authorities are monitoring the latest eruption closely and so far no one has been evacuated, said the Rodolf Gracia, the civil protection spokesman. With what happened in 2018, now the authorities are already more alert and more active, said the resident in the locals and the locals saw a sudden explosion of the lava on the Saturday night that reddened the sky. People here are used to experiencing this and they look at it as normal, said the 28-year-old Mayan farmer. Many local families have backpack ready for the food, water and flashlights and medicines so that they can evacuate for up to three days at a drop of the hat. Guatemala has two other active volcanoes, Santiago in the west of the country and Pacaya in the south. Fiogo also adjoins the inactive Acatango volcano at 3500 meters. Unlike South America's Andean volcanoes, Guatemala's are not snow-capped because of the Central America's warmer climate. Central America has more than 100 volcanoes, many of which are widely popular tourist attractions, even though they occasionally cause death and destructions. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.